Welcome back to another episode of Harmonious at Lunch, the show that fuels your business success. I'm Brandon Gano, your host and guide through the world of harmonious business growth. Today, we're unlocking powerful strategies with industry experts to help your business thrive. If you're a business owner, entrepreneur, or executive, you are in the right place. Join me and our incredible guest today on the journey to clarity, growth, and success. It is time to revolutionize your approach to business. Let's dive in with another episode of Harmonious at Lunch. Welcome back to some more bite-sized business advice. And we are talking to the ladies today. We're talking about how to step out of your darkness into the light and really how to transition, make a transition in your life. And we have uh, a guest with us who's done just that a number of years ago. And now she's giving back to women, empowering them to make transitions and really just help them step into who they were meant to be. So I'm excited to unpack this conversation. Uh, let's welcome our guest, Alka Sharma. Welcome to the show. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much, Brandon. It's a pleasure. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. So your story has uh, sort of a dark origin, but we did promise that when <laughs> in, the, yeah. in the title of the show, stepping out of your darkness into the right. light. Um, yes. well, why don't you share with me kind of how, how we got here? Where did this all start for you? And, and what was that moment of darkness in, in business and in life? Well, how I got here was about uh, 11 years ago when my marriage had dissolved. So if I can take you um, that journey first of all in my life. So when my marriage had dissolved, I was left emotionally broke, mentally broke and financially broke. Now, it's very difficult for most people to navigate when they are faced with those circumstances. So I was left broke. It was very difficult for me to pick up the pieces and move on. But because I had two small kids, I was responsible not for myself, but I was responsible for my kids to navigate my life and to move forward. So fast forward, as I began to pick up the pieces, I truly had the belief and I had faith on my side to don't give up. And it's very easy for most of us to just give up, to crumble and die. But I did not do that. I did not choose to do so. So fast forward, I got into entrepreneurship. Now, how I got into entrepreneurship after, after my marriage, being in that dark place, was the three tools that I lived by then and which I live by today, which is courage, determination, and the willpower to go on, to keep on moving forward, to progressing in life and not to just give up or quit or crumble and die just because you are facing those circumstances. So fast forward, this is what I do today. These are the tools, Brandon, that I live by, the courage, the will, and the determination after you know, I opened my studio, which was, you know, that was my first step into entrepreneurship. After I opened my studio, you no know, COVID hit. So I sold my studio and that was an easy transition for me to get into real estate. So today I am a real estate investor, empowering other women to gain the confidence when it comes to investment. Hmm. That's that's amazing. And that it's quite the story, first of all, because it's it's a common story, not the not the specifics of it, but the the brokenness, the darkness, the right. navigating life's life's challenges and journeys. And that's that's what we're here to unpack is just figure out how can we get past our challenges with grace, with dignity, and and come back and thrive on the other side. I think that's that seems to be this the theme of your journey. So I'm curious how you go about helping helping women do that. I mean, you I'm sure you have people come to you at their lowest, darkest moments, and you are this beacon of hope, if you will, on the hill. So how do you help them go from where they are to where you are and beyond, I'm sure? Absolutely. And that's a great question. So if I can take you back to when I had my studio, first of all. So when I had my studio, I had clients, women who walked through that door and they were pale, they were lethargic, they felt, um, you know, really out of shape and they felt both mentally exhausted as well. So when I worked with my clients, I helped them 
to find that place, what is holding them back? Because when it comes to even helping women in real estate or, you know, in, in the fitness industry, you've got to find out. And I had to find out what was holding them back, what, uh, you know, what were they currently doing, what were they not doing, and what, and it was interesting to know that what was holding people back is that belief that they were good enough. And oftentimes, you know, we all face this. I face this. You know, when I was a teenager, I walked into that gym and I said, oh, my gosh, am I good enough? Did I feel good? And no, I did not feel good. I did not feel accepted. And this is what I experienced when I had my studio uh, witnessing the clients. They did not feel good about themselves. And this is what was holding them back. So to answer your question, Brandon, it comes down to what is holding people back that they don't believe in themselves, that they can succeed, whether it's in their physical body or mentally in, to, in real estate to making those investments. Because as a real estate investor, it is more so the male-dominated industry. And for most women, they don't have the confidence to really navigate that they can be successful just as a man can. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's that's interesting too because – talking about being good enough and walking into a high school gym versus dropping a couple hundred grand on a, an investment property. Those are two different, drastically different things, right? Yes. And, yes. and we need to feel a certain way to be able to show up and, and walk into our lives, but then having the confidence to go and, and spend a lot of money and invest in real estate is a different right. level of confidence that, yes, that I'm is. sure is a very hard path to get people there. So, what is it that you do to get people from wherever they are, wherever you find them? Do you have a process you take them through? What's that first level of, of feeling good enough and having that, if you will, base layer of, of confidence? Exactly. Well, the first layer that needs to happen is you need to believe. So when we talk about confidence, you need to believe in yourself that, yes, it is possible. Yes, you can do it. So when we talk about confidence, when I shifted myself, when I shifted from, you know, stepping away, stepping out of the darkness, I had to know the belief I had to have internally that, yes, my life was going to be successful. But until unless I did not have that belief, nothing would have happened. So that is the base layer, first of all, which comes to anything, whether it comes to your fitness journey or real estate, you got to have that fundamental belief because that is, that's the first and foremost, because without that, you would not amass too, too much because no matter what you want to do, you cannot do it if you don't have that belief in yourself. That's that inner a resilient resiliency that needs to happen, which you know I had to go through that, having that sheer belief. Yeah, and I, I would imagine that's hard to get to, even if you're if you're in this place of darkness, if you're like you going through a divorce, you're you're broke, you have no money. Um, that mindset of I'm going to be successful is probably it seems like miles away, and maybe never even achievable in that current situation so where do, where does that start because I, even even for people the reason i'm asking because i've seen people who are like air quotes successful um have this belief that they're they're really not and they just they kind of focus more on the negative so is it is it divine intervention is it from god that just knowing you were put on this earth to make a difference or is it is it some sort of a, a mantra that you tell yourself like what how do you make that path shorter and that's a great question. Everyone is, um, you know, uniquely, um, you know, different. But what really stood for me was ha having that faith, having that faith that guided me through stepping out the darkness, stepping out and away, because your breakout is your breakthrough. And this is what I also share in my book, From Cocoon to CEO, living the life of your dreams, that you got to, once you broke out from the relationship, 
this is your breakthrough. This is your time. This is the moment when you are now defining yourself as to who you are as a woman. You know, you're independent, you're financially free, and, you know, this is what needs to happen. So if you believe in God or the higher, the you know, the faith or the higher self, then nothing can stop you. You are going to be unstoppable. So when I broke out the relationship, it was faith. It was divine. I wouldn't say divine intervention, but it, well, internally, yes, it was. It was the faith that actually led me to keep on going, to never give up, to don't quit on myself. Uh, although I had two small kids, but not to quit on myself. So you've got to believe in faith. You've got to know that, you know, the divine power is there for you, is there to help you guide through those really traumatic moments, those challenging times. So you've got to believe. Yeah, I mean, step one, right? That's <laughs> that yeah. you have to believe that you're you're here for a bigger purpose and you you're right, right. you can't give up. That's that's the most important part. So mm -hmm. um You've gone through this journey at this point. You sold your studio. What what got you into real estate investing? I'm curious. Right. So even though I had my studio, I um I was um you know I ran also um, a condo that I was renting downtown Toronto. So for me, once once COVID hit and I sold my studio, it was such an easy transition, Brandon, to get into real estate because I knew that I wanted to, um, you know, I wanted to be financially free. I wanted to help myself, my family, but also to help other women, to inspire them, to motivate them, to help them gain the confidence that when it comes to investment, when it comes to real estate, which is a male dominant industry, but don't let, don't let that, you know, fear you, don't let that hold you back from not, making the decisions to be financially free. So for me, real estate was the vehicle of my choice. I think that's awesome. And it's it's cool that it wasn't a male dominated industry, in my opinion, because that had to do something for your confidence when you started to see success and, and build your portfolio and your wealth. What what came out of that for you? Like what was that confidence boost? The confidence boost was that yes, I, I can do it. And after making that first investment, I've gone on to make, um, you know, four investment, I have four investment properties. So when you do one deal, so I have international deals that I'm also involved in. So I'm very proud of that. But, you know, when you do one deal, that gives you tremendous confidence that, yes, you know, cash flow has been, that was the objective then that give, that boosts your confidence automatically. And then, you know, you can do your second, third, fourth, or your 10th deal. But you just got to do it. You got to step out of your comfort zone and allow yourself the opportunity to say, I am unstoppable. And yes, I am going to conquer um, in the real estate industry and to make those investments, whether it's locally or internationally. But you got to do it. Yeah. It's, I think it's easy to say you have to do it. It's one, it's the other thing to hear. Absolutely. To do it, right. Yes. <laughs> you yes. mentor people on uh, women, especially on, on how to get into real estate investing. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I show them the path. I show them as to like, you know, what am I doing? How did I start? And when I show them, then it really becomes easy for them to see okay well this is what needs to happen when you are making when you want to make an investment what what's the process and i guide them through as to what was the process that took me to becoming an investor today so you know so one of it's one of those things like i said you know you got to it's easier said than done but you've got to do it because without taking that quantum leap or taking taking that chance on you you will never know if you're going to be successful. Hmm. Yeah, no, I, that that's good advice. Um, if you listening, watching, if you want to, if you want to see more, if you want to see behind the scenes, uh, you can follow Alka on Instagram. I put that on the screen. It'll be in the show notes too. Um, and we'll have your website down there as well. So you can follow along, but I'm curious, you have 
four properties now. You got international deals. This is this is your path. You're financially free. Uh, you, you seem emotionally free as well. You seem like you have stepped into your light and you're living yeah. a life of abundance, which is probably what everybody listening wants. So I, I want to know what's next. Where where are you going from here? What does your next three to five years look like to grow your business and, and grow your impact? Right. Well, growing, growing my impact is going to be globally. I'm I'm speaking. So I'm, I'll be speaking across um, so many you know, events that I lined up for 2024. So I'm excited about that, growing my speaking career, but also um, making an impact globally when it comes to empowerment, to empowering women, to show them, to guide them that, you know, life is not about when you're facing those um, challenges or circumstances in your life right now is to, you know, seek that belief inside of you that is your compass. That's your moral compass that gives you the guiding light to carry on in life and to don't crumble or die. Because if I had crumbled and died, I would not be talking to you, Brandon. I would not be sharing my story of hope, of courage, of determination and the will. So this is going to be my global impact that I'll be so honored to share on stages one day to empower and impact so many women, to helping them to create a change. And so I'm looking, I'm excited to create a movement as to how I can be the one to guide women through changing their lives. That's amazing. It's much needed, men and women, but obviously yes. you, serve, you serve women, but I think it's, so, like you said, it's so easy in those moments of darkness, whether it's running your business, going through a divorce, anything in between, Mm -hmm. You obviously had your kids to fight through, but I'm glad on the flip side too. Now you're serving so many other women and helping them get through their challenge. We all have challenges. It's a matter of how do you navigate them and how do you make it a story that impacts others? And I Absolutely. love that you're doing that, Alka. Thank you so much. And thank you for being here and sharing your story. No, you're most welcome. Thank you, Brandon, for having me. For those of you watching, listening, ladies in particular, go follow Alka down on Instagram. It's on the screen. It's in the show notes down below. Um, go check out her website and just gobble up all that information. See how you can get to that next level in your life. Be abundant, be financially free, make a change in the world, and then give back and make an impact in somebody else's life. All of you also, I'd love it if you subscribe to this show. We love bringing you these daily episodes. Make sure you come back to the next episode of Harmonious at Lunch. And thank you for watching and listening to this one.